Well, Mzansi, if disrespect was a, a person, it definitely would be the South African government. But now this is what they've done. Yikes. Yikes, Mzansi. Hey, hey, Mzansi. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News, Mzansi. If you're new to my channel, you know you have the stories. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and, of course, the bell and you'll never miss an update. Mzansi, South Africans are up in arms in fury over the government's proposed plan of a 1 billion sponsorship for English Premier League side Tottenham Hotspur. Now, this comes after explosive revelations made by the publication The Daily Maverick. Now, The Daily Maverick revealed that the South African government, uh, through its marketing agency, SA Tourism, is preparing to ink a deal worth uh, nine and a whole lot of other numbers that you can see on the screen to sponsor Harry Kane's Tottenham Hotspur. Now, part of the article reads, what the PowerPoint presentation reveal is that the South African government, through its marketing arm, uh, SA Tourism, is seriously considering a proposal to spend close to 1 billion rands to sponsor one of the world's most elite soccer teams. Now, sources close to the matter told the Daily Maverick that it was on the verge of being finalized, with Susulu allegedly eager for the deal to be sealed before the impending cabinet reshuffle by President Sir. Ramaphosa moves her out of the tourism portfolio as uh, she is expected. Yikes. Sisulu did not respond to a direct question as to whether she was indeed personally championing uh, the deal. However, Mzansi, South Africans were not impressed with the proposed sponsorship deal. They accused the government of having misplaced priorities uh, and of being driven by vanity. Many accused the government of being uh, insincere in addressing social ills in the country and highlighted how the one billion rand could be better spent and empowering the South African economy. The claimed that the South African government is out of touch with reality. And they are not wrong, Mzansi. Award-winning South African media personality Andile Ngube posted, here we go, another flag. If this is true, why? How? For what? No, man. The folk. There is a 16 at official PSL teams and most struggle with sponsors. And every day we point fingers at teams like Edmodo Casuelos for having money issues. Yet this big brand that's been part of South African fabric for so long gets no help. But at Spurs official do, at Spurs officials should know that if they were to take money from South African government, it is blood money. Now, some more responses from furious South Africans over the government's proposed 1 billion sponsorship of Tottenham's Hotspur Red. This is crazy. We have people living way below the breadline, an economy crippled by load shedding. Now this, this cannot be allowed to happen. This is a taxpayer funds that should be used for South Africans' infrastructure like a road. Now, another said, we want to boost tourism whilst we have unreliable power issues. That money should go towards effort to stabilize our power. Then we can discuss advertising to ask tourists to come here. Talk about putting the cart before the horse. These uh, relics in Parliament need reti to retire, man. Another said, it is hard to believe that we could be uh, contemplating a deal like this. As I write this comment, we are facing water shortages in Johannesburg because of ongoing load shedding for a month and we are level 5 load shedding again. Durban and Cape Town beaches have uh, sewage issues and the economy is tottering with businesses closing daily as a result of ongoing load shedding. As good as this deal may be, surely we have other priorities. This deal should go the way of the giant flagpole. Please, uh, CR, please give your team a reality pill. Another said there is no money in South Africa but our ministers still find a way of uh, excelling with wasting money. One another furious person said, while our township children do not even have footballs to play with, this now gives a new meaning to clueless and out of touch. Now, Thinker and Dua said, this, pro this proposed deal is an outrageous waste of money. There are so many ways that it could be spent to effectively propose to promote uh, tourism and benefit the industry. How can this even be contemplated? Yikes, uh, Mzansi. Now, if this is true, definitely, Mzansi, we are being ruled by a government that is out of touch. Now, while we are sitting and uh, waiting for the electricity, like uh, the new South African proverb that we read. Now, do leave your thoughts, Mzansi, about this in the comment section. You know I love to hear from you, but for now, you know I will bring you the updates hot. Jaws, the way you like it.